Hey, Broadway. Blake, what's up? Not too much. How you doing? Pretty good, man. Texoma Shore is out today, man. It's good to talk to you. Uh, I got to know, my first question is, are there any good drinking songs on this new record? Because your drinking songs are the best. I've been banging the hell out of Straight out of Cold Beer, man. That's I listen to that song every day when I run. So what's going to be my new drinking song? <laughs> well, I got, I got drinking songs on here. They're not quite that rowdy, but there is a song on here called uh, Hang Over Do. Okay. Which is, that's a drinking song for sure. But more of a laid back. That you might not want to jog to it. If you want to jog to one, I'd jog to Money. Okay, that's the one then. We'll we'll switch it out on the playlist when the, when I get a copy of the record here. I'm sending it out to you right now. Appreciate that. Hand delivered if you wouldn't mind uh, doing that, please. I know you're not very busy. Uh, Luke Bryan is about to fire American Idol back up, and he was on our show uh, just yesterday actually, and he was talking some smack. And I want you to listen to this, and I want you to respond to this if you don't mind. Okay. I'm going to be a judge on American Idol coming up. I'm going to be on Idol, which, you know, it's going to be so much better than The Voice. It's going to be me and Lionel on Idol. And, you know, I've got Caroline and Bo and Tate and Chill. And, and Blake doesn't have any kids. He just got Gwen. So I'm, it's going to be a lot better than The Voice. There you go. Did you hear that? Man, it, that's crazy. Luke's voice is really changing. <laughs> <laughs> You're not buying it? Uh, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy for Luke, damn it. Uh, I know he sounds like Kermit the Frog when he talks, but that's not his fault. At least I'm he... happy for the guy, though, man. It's he. Look, he doesn't have anything to lose by being on TV. People already don't really like him. <laughs> so, I mean, might as well take that job, right? At least he's got a nice that, He does have that. <laughs> Uh, your boss lives in the Berg. He lives in Pittsburgh. Uh, talking about Espo, and uh, I know he's got like a suite, or I, I, he may own Heinz Field. I'm not sure, but uh, does he make you go to Steelers games when you're in town? No, you know. Look, there's a few things that I'm willing to be fired over, and one of them is I will not root for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh man, my my dad uh, was a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan, and so from when I was a kid. Uh, you know, it was like he, it, just to drive him crazy. Uh, he would, uh, you know, watch the games, and whether it was Dallas or whoever it was, uh, you know, I'd always root against him just to get under his skin. And but now my dad passed away, so Espo is taking on now the role of I get to pick on him about Pittsburgh. Although every time I bet against Pittsburgh, I end up having to wear a Pittsburgh jersey, a cap. I got to put on a. Two two something. <laughs> I've not learned my lesson over the years that it's just one of those teams that God likes a little bit more than any other team in the NFL, and, yep. and they always get that. The wind blows their direction. It's it's maddening if you're not on board. It you, truly is God. good for you guys. Actually, get on board, Blake. Come on, man. Texoma Shore <laughs> is out today. Uh, man, I wish I had all day with you, but but I don't. So, uh, man, good luck and, and thanks for checking in. We appreciate. It. Nice to talk to you, Blake. I love you. Go Pittsburgh.